Hello, hello, and I hope you're having a wonderful on passive day today. I know that I am, and I am so stoked, man. I mean, totally jazzed. This has been an incredible week, and I apologize. I've been busy for the last several days with uh, all sorts of things going on, but I'm trying to play catch up today since I've got a good day where it's all to myself. So I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things we have going on because, you know, in all honesty, there's been a lot of good updates and a lot of good communication here lately, and we need to keep up on it. Now, first thing is that having a business of our size, right? I mean, we're a big business, so this is a challenge, but we want to make sure that signatures and such are correct on any document. In our case, the NDA has several thousand signatures that we're aware of that are incorrect or inappropriate. And we know that that can cause a lot of busy work for our support team, you know, for those that go back and forth with emails trying to get it corrected. Because of this, we're not going to allow the NDA to be edited by anybody. This is to say we have a tool that's going to read the signature. It's a machine screening tool. It's based on the size or parameters of the signature. But there's going to be a good mix of machine and people monitoring the NDA. So it's not all done uh, through AI and such. Anyway... If there seems to be a problem with the signature on the NDA, it's going to be reset and the founder is going to be notified. Now, when the founder goes on to log on to their account, they're going to be dropped right in front of the NDA for signature. Or if after a time the founder does not log in to sign the NDA, then we're going to manually email that founder, letting them know that that's something they need to go do. And this is how the NDA is going to be taken care of. So it'll make sure that the signatures are appropriate and that everything is done according to the way that it should be done. Please do not contact support over a signature issue. So to recap, right, if a signature is inappropriate, it's going to be flagged. The NDA is going to be reset and then the user is going to uh, log on and be prompted to the NDA for signature. Now, if after a certain amount of time, the user doesn't attempt to log in, a manually generated email is going to be sent to that founder asking them to sign in and sign the NDA. Now, we may have a week or so to get this done. If it isn't done by then, then we're actually going to be moving ahead. So it's not going to be, you know, on passive this behind at this point. It's going to be the founder that hasn't signed the NDA. And without a correct signature on that NDA, we're not going to be able to be a part of the marketing or the traffic or the bonuses or anything else. There's also several thousand profiles that have information that are unacceptable in the actual profiles themselves. Things like names and phone numbers and countries, etc., right? We have the ability within the profile to edit those fields. So we're asking that everybody log in and make sure the information there is correct because it will become very, very important once we shut down the founder position and we go into the public arena. Again, with several thousand profiles, it would be very time consuming and it would be a lot of extra work for support to manage multiple emails from each account trying to fix these things. So please go into your account and make sure the information is correct and that it's the information that you want in there. This information is what OnPassive will use to contact you should the need arise. So the faster we can get that done, the faster we can take care of this and make sure the information is correct, the less time and energy support has to work with it, and the faster we can move on and into the next phase. Also, concerning email changes, as of now, there are no email changes or requests for email changes that have not been taken care of. So, if you have an email request and it has not been taken care of to your knowledge, then please look that uh, email up, make sure it's the right email because we have nothing in our system that is pending as far as an email change goes. Now, by the end of May, we want to have zero refund requests uh, pending as well. And unfortunately, we do have situations where refunds have been requested and we're not able to comply uh, with that request because we haven't gotten a good way to refund that money. For example, People that joined, you know, two or three years ago using PayPal and recently requested a refund, well, we no longer use PayPal. So we can't use PayPal to refund their uh, particular uh, $97 or whatever it is they're asking for, right? Those folks needing a refund in cases like that need to give us another avenue for providing the refund. For example, a credit card or even a crypto account. 
Now, if it's crypto, obviously, we're going to need a wallet to send that money to, right? So make sure you send them the, the uh, have your folks or whoever's listening to this and need that. Make sure you're sending a wallet uh, key as well. Now, it's important to know that things are changing a little bit. Up until the end of this month, right, up until the end of May 2022, those people requesting refunds would not have accounts terminated until the refunds were completed. However, after the end of this month, if we haven't gotten the information that we need to complete the refund, the account is going to be terminated and that refund will be pending until we get the information needed to complete that refund. And if you've asked for a refund, then we certainly want to give that refund to you, okay? But if we have contacted you for information so that we can complete that refund, please cooperate with us so we can get that money back to you. Again, after the end of May, right, this month, this year, 2022, accounts that have an active refund request that have not been able to be fulfilled because we don't have the appropriate information to do it is going to be terminated anyway. Please cooperate with us and provide the details to get that money back to you as quickly as possible. And to be clear, again, as of the end of this month, if you have asked for a refund and not provided the proper information to provide that refund, your account will still be deleted. In a case like that, your refund is going to be pending until we get the information needed to be able to send you that money the way you want us to do it. Now, in less than a month, by mid-June, we're going to have the first data center up and live. And the first phase um, will be completed by this Friday, I think. Actually, we're actually in the process of acquiring a second property for a larger data center. By the way, we call them data centers, and that's spelled out. Data, D-A-T-A, -A, center, C-E-N-T-E-R. No weird spellings, nothing. Just center, like we grew up with in America. Anyway... We finished that plan last week, and we know that we're going to be dominating the data center industries, okay, because we have solutions. No other company can offer our solutions or our fluidity. No other company can offer our technologies, our redundancies, our accessibility to near countless unending IP addresses, or the cost, especially when you figure in the cost. When you do, to quote Mr. Mufara, quote, you throw everybody out of the water, unquote. And just a little tidbit of info for you on the side in the webinar, um, if you watched it, if not, go back and watch it. When he mentioned this, I hope you noticed, you know, Mr. Mufar got a glint in his eye, man, a telltale knowing glint. That was priceless. So the data center plans are done, and this wasn't even on the lift, list, excuse me, a year or so ago. So... This is saying in about 30 days or less, our first data center is going to be live. By the end of this week, the testing is going to start, right? And once our first data center is live, this is going to give us the wherewithal to have at least two of our pillar products, O-Mail and O-Connect, go commercial. Now, there'll probably need to be some testing done in there, so, you know, hang on to your hats. Now, O-Mail is a better email solution than Gmail in many, many ways. It's the first uh, spam-free solution that's going to be out there, meaning that it's permission-based, and it has a lot more power, and it houses many more features than Gmail. Uh, it is the most massive and complete email system ever with features that have only been seen in the imagination before now. And we have the ability to open those products up in the next couple of weeks because those features require our data center control. Incidentally, we could quite literally retire by those two products alone. Seriously, I mean, once those two products go live, some of us are going to be able to submit a resignation letter to current employees if you want, employers, excuse me, if you want to. Uh, for others, it might take a little longer, but it'll still happen. Incidentally, remember that glint I was talking about that Mr. Bufar had earlier? Well... He was talking about this and talking about that retirement and, and the, uh, the, the greatness of those two programs. And he got that glint again. So <laughs> just saying, right? Anyway, um, we're in the process of acquiring the property for a large, right? A very large property for the next data center. And we're going to continue this plan uh, throughout multiple regions. So 
it's no small undertaking and pulling these activities together, not to mention the financials, all take time. So don't look for these things to be done before the end of next year. And by that time, we're going to be able to guarantee you that OnPassive is dominating the data center industry. And this one aspect of OnPassive is enough to make us all very wealthy. Now, uh, OnPassive has also created and completed nine videos uh, for the, on the following products. Uh, O-Mail, O-Founders, O-Staff, O-Connect, O-Commerce, uh, O-Tracker, O-Trim, O-Bless, O-Academy, right? They're going to be released uh, from the main on passive website, but not all at once. They'll be listed there starting with O-Founders. Now, remember a little while back when Mr. Mufara talked about three eyes, you know, getting sets of eyeballs and stuff on our products? Well, the first set of eyeballs on a product belong to the tech folks, right? That, and that's done in the alpha testing within the company. The second set uh, is the beta testing that's done uh, once it's released to the founders in the back office. The third set is a uh, third party for reviewing the software and to make final changes in preparation for launch. Well, this week, we should have the CCTV portion of OSTAF totally complete. And you may recall that OSTAF is being used by OnPassive. This means that Mr. Mufar is going to be able to manage the human resources system, the business, <laughs> from anywhere he is, right? Wherever he is in the world. This means he's going to have the ability to view the floors, view all the different locations, right? All this stuff at his fingertips from his laptop. And again, like so many other things, that is massive. And I'm not sure, but I think when Susie heard that, she did one of her giddy-up cowboy dances. I don't know. Anyway, um, there's a few more items that I do want to mention in closing. Uh, the first one was that we had a technical issue that caused the system to collect multiple payments on new accounts and new registrations that weren't confirmed uh, instantly. Rest assured, it's been corrected. And for those that have paid multiple times for a singular account, those refunds are being issued. And for those that did pay multiple times, uh, please do not notify support. They are aware it has been corrected. Now, having said that, if in a week or two you haven't received your refund, give, give support you know, an email, uh, open a ticket. Also, in a very short time, we're going to be confirming our merchant for getting money in and paying money out. So keep your eyes open for that. Uh, some parts of the marketing is still going on in Dubai, but we're going to see a brand new, higher, increased level in, of intensity uh, for the marketing and branding in Dubai and at the Burj Khalifa. So that's exciting. Keep your eyes open for that. Now, the other week, we said the innovation labs were for physical products, but guess what? Now, they're also initiating innovation labs for digital products and blockchain in addition to the physical products. So, whoo, man, things are really stoking up and things are getting big, 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 big gig. So anyway, finally, it's pretty safe to say that in the fourth week of June, the founder position is no longer going to be a, an issue with us. Mr. Mufara has indicated that the date of the founder opportunity closure will be announced on the next 360 with Marty, Red, and Chris. Also, go into the back and check out uh, uh, Peter's notes and updates. Also, go listen to Red's recaps. Man, he does an excellent, excellent job. So having said all this, if you've been invited to become a founder, get back with the person that invited you. If not, go down below in the description box, wherever you are, and just click on a link so that you can get registered or even go to onpassive.com. You can uh, learn a lot more there and get registered there too. But whatever you decide to do, just know we want only blessing and blessing for you and your entire family.